Hi, uh, welcome back to episode 3 of our Levels of Biological Organization series. And in this episode, I'll be discussing, or just moving on, and we'll see how many steps it takes and if we need another video. Now, we left off at the, after talking about the second level, where we talked about the different biomes, things like that. Now we'll move on to the communities. And a community, the third level, is uh, the entire array of the organisms within the particular ecosystem creating unity. And it includes many types of trees, different plants, mushrooms, animals, and numerous diverse microorganisms, bacteria, things like that. And each of these forms is called a species. Now, getting more specific into each community is are the populations, and these are all the individuals of a species living within a bound area. For example, if you have, let's say, moose living in within a spruce forest in Canada, that would be a population of moose. Now, the fifth level, even more specifically, are the individual organisms. And these are don't necessarily have to be animals. These can be a single tree, a single plant, a single microorganism, and animals such as frogs, things like that. And that's all we really need to talk about for these uh, previous three levels of organization as naming organisms things like we discussing much more in depth later on now moving on we can get to uh, level six which are the organs and the organ systems and here it's I like to think of the human systems the circulatory system the immune system things like that but um, in trees, for example, leaves are also organs, and the basic definition of an organ is a body that consists of two or more tissues. Uh, stems and roots are other major organs of plants, and but it is easier to think of it in human terms, such as a brain, a heart, a kidney, things like that. Now, I was talking about before, an organ is two or more tissues, so what is a tissue? Now, a tissue are a group of cells that are similar to one another to form a single, single entity, which we call a tissue, and these tissues will form the bigger organs, which will in turn form the organ systems and examples of these are is the skin the epidermis and also the photetic tissues within a leaf things like that now even each tissue is made up of similar groups of cells and the cell is the fundamental building block of the body and Organisms such as amoebas and bacteria are single-celled organisms and whereas, whereas in fact humans and animals and plants are all multicellular organisms. And for example, the human body consists of trillions of little tiny cells and depending on what tissue you're talking about especially within the human body you got different types of cells growing together so what makes cells function and especially in eukaryotic cells if you um, examine even further you'll see structures called organelles and these are tiny structures that have various different functions such as powering the cell through ATP um, controlling the cell such as what the nucleus does um, 
transporting things in and out of the cells in vacuoles, digesting things in the cell so that the cell can use the materials in order to live. And in plants, an example of this are clasts. And usually in order to see the organelles, you need something like an electron microscope, something very, very uh, powerful in order to see these organelles. Now, the fundamental building blocks of everything are the molecules, and these are built up by little tiny balls called atoms. And molecules, they're just building up these organelles, these cells, these tissues, these organ systems. Molecules are also interacting with the stems in order to produce a cohesive, um, cohesive system in which the cell or the living organism can interact with the outside world. And one of the most important on Earth, as an example, is the process of photosynthesis. And within each chloroplast, there are millions of chlorophyll and other molecules organized into equipment that converts energy from light into chemical energy for food. Now that we've finished up discussing all 10 levels of biological organization, I think in the next series we're going to be discussing the cell and use that as a starting point to move on to higher advanced topics. Alright, thanks for watching.